How's it going, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of a build I've been using in the Crucible. I haven't seen too much talk about it. I think it's actually really good right now. Um, it kind of covers a whole lot of different ranges. So we're going to go ahead and give you guys a little look at it here. Just so you guys can see what we're using. So we're going to be rocking the Dead Man's Tail. I know it got a little bit of a nerf, but if you use it the way it's supposed to be used, a little bit more of a laning weapon, still really potent. You can get easy two taps once you're getting a little bit of a roll going. Still a really good weapon. We go next to the Snorri FR5. It's the new seasonal fusion rifle. This gun with these perks is insane. It's a 740 RPM or 740 charge time fusion, pardon me. That's charging at like 460 or 500 charge time. The gun just accelerates so fast once you actually get a kill, with, which paired with heating up just really complements each other allows for a lot of aggressive plays with this fusion rifle once you get a kill. Um, as well as for heavy weapon, doesn't really matter. You can pair it with a GL, rocket launcher, anything you want to use in particular. Now onto the armor, we're going to be looking at the Graviton Forfeit for an exotic. With the way that Void 3.0 was changed, getting more smokes is a really big deal. With the ability to smoke yourself and go invis, as well as dodge invis, you can be invisible for a large portion of the game. If you guys pair it with Graviton Forfeit, anytime you're invisible, your melee is regenerating. Which means if you're getting your melee more often, you're going invisible more often. With 100 mobility, you're already getting like 13 second dodges, which means you're going to be invisible all the time. I pair this with Impact Induction on the Gauntlets. This gives you a little bit more leeway on getting your melee ability back if you can't stay invis as often or you're getting into gunfights as soon as you go into invisibility and kind of lose out on some of that recharge time. Doing grenade damage will also give you back some of your melee. Pairs really well with what I use, which are the spike grenades on this class. One of the shortest cooldown grenades, as well as they do a lot of good damage, a lot of area damage, really good area denial as well. I pair it simply with a really, really simple taking charge uh, charge with light build. So I have quick charge to pair with the fusion rifle because you're going to be getting multi-kills all the time. As well as I have precision charge. So if I'm getting multi-kills with Dead Man's Tail, does a really good job at keeping up and keeping me charged with light. Obviously taking charge, high energy fire, and then powerful friends because it'll also let me uh, get that plus 20 mobility that I wouldn't have otherwise. Um, I also run Harmonic Siphon, which since this fusion is void... Anytime I get a double kill, it creates an orb of light. If I got that double kill, it also gives me quick charge, which means I get two stacks of charge with light. Pairs really well with each other. There's a lot of synergy going on, and you can go on massive sprees with this thing. So I'm going to go into a couple games here, show you guys what it's all about, and I'll see you in the games. Okay, going into our game here, we're hoping to... I wouldn't mind like a Javelin 4. Javelin 4 falls really well into the range as a Dead Man's Tail, as well as it has a lot of nice angles for you to play with your fusion. Um, Alter Flame, also a good map. You can hold a lot of long angles uh, with DMT. Okay, you also don't want to forget that while Graviton's active, you also gain a reload speed boost. Um, so you can make a lot of good plays where you dodge around a corner, pick up special ammo, reload it before they have time to jump over or walk around at you. And by that point in time, you can have it charging again. Um, and it really pairs well off of each other. So spawn and see here. Um, I'm going to try and go and get a lane started before we get the zones capped. Um, teammates to cap the zone. It means that I can try and get outside here and get a long lane going with DMT. Before anyone really knows what's going on. Go invis here. Try and play this angle really well. Had a really good push on his part. <clears throat> Quite a few of them have gone outside towards B. Um, seems like they're going to kind of prioritize B a little bit. Um, which on Altar of Flames, good. Alright, get a little bit of a kill steal there. Which means we can get that kill right there. Dodge to get this invis. Oh, didn't mean to go through that. Didn't know that was there. Um, now we're still invis. We've got a long time means I can grab this. Try and go into this again. Get one kill. Next one. Nice quick charge time. Go into this in this backside. He's going to try and push up right around now. All 
right. Fusion didn't quite kill, which means I lost the successful warm up, which is fine. You can still get some stuff going without it. You just have to find a little bit more of a better angle for yourself at first. Means we're gonna try and play back a little bit. I got a long angle there. Don't want to challenge that too hard. Now, see, I got a good angle here. I got a charge with light, so DMT will two tap if they continue to peek this lane at all. Go back to Invis. All right, he's gonna come up right here. Or not. I'm going backside. Um, dodge to get away from that. Get a little bit extra recovery too while you're Invis with Graviton. So, Graviton's a really, really good exotic to pair with the new Void 3.0 changes. All right, get him. Get him. Grab this special. Try and get out again. Try and get around the corner. Damn. Good push on his part. Really good push. Um, he got there really fast. That is one downside about the fusion rifle is you will still lose to shotguns that properly push you. Um, but if you can get a little bit of a pre-charge going, uh, the fusion can just destroy, man. Damn. He came up really close on that. Good push on his part. So I'm going to try and get back towards the outside of the map, uh, kind of play a little more DMT. I don't enjoy just mainlining special as much as I do throwing a little bit of primary in there with it as well. Get both those kills. Dodge here to keep getting my melee back, and I'm invis so they don't quite know what's going on here. Alright, get that quick charge. That's what successful warm-up does for you. allows you to make those aggressive plays really easy. Another one there. Another one there. I need a hunter like you with the I'm gonna try and wait for my melee so I get that better use of the charges. Get him out here. Um, get a little 91. The good thing about DMT is it does a lot of damage very quickly. Um, so even if you need to clean up afterwards, you can swap to it. Get a really good bit of damage there going. Look at them fall. Like, see right there? DMT just killing it. Try and get a little bit back here. I also like the subsistence roll I have on my DMT. Um, which means I can kind of try and play away a little bit more. No, I figured they'd push up on me pretty quick. <clears throat> um, so yeah, angles like that are what you really want to look for with DMT. If you can get their invis and make them kind of question whether or not you're going to be able to see them. Or if they even know you're there to begin with. Um, getting those initial few shots with DMT will really let you start to stack it up um, and really let you get a little bit of an advantage um, in those gunfights because it doesn't have the quickest time to kill. But once you get that two-tap capability, you are an absolute monster to fight. You become the raid boss. No doubt about it, you become the raid boss. Um, and you really want to keep trying to play those long lanes with that DMT. Um, oh, try and get out of this. I was a little too uh, tunnel vision. Didn't see him coming up from the side. Um, didn't use my melee in the right order there. Could have used melee then dodge. Gotten a little more energy back. But I think this will still be good. Um, it allows for a little more inches here. Uh, push right out here. Get that charge. Um, another one's going to come through spawn. Nice job. Um, unfortunately, they seem to be going uh, AFK. So a little... A little bit of easy kills there that you don't like to see all the time. Um, we're gonna throw that. All right, thunderstrike or thunder crash, thunder strike. All right, Terraba, really good gun as well. I've found a little bit of success of it with this, uh, up with it this season. Good lord, English difficult. Um, but for the most part, I've found a little more success trying to go ranged. Alright, we're gonna try and get even further out of here. They got a lot of full auto weapons there. Really able to kill you pretty quick if you're trying to sit in the lane too hard. Alright, we're gonna hide here for a second while we get some health back. Um, snag the heavy while we're here. Never hurts. Where are you at, buddy? Alright, he's gone. Alright, seems like they're gonna be... Oh, nope, they're still spawning out there on A. Which means I can try and get a little long angle here. Um, see if I can't find a nice angle to hit them from. 
No, that quiver's gonna get me. <clears throat> um, speaking of which, the super I choose to use is quiver. Um, spectral blades, I don't really enjoy it that much. I find it to be one of the worst roaming supers. Um, really easy to kill. Doesn't have a whole lot of gap closing potential. Um, Zone B locked. Not saying it's bad, but with the neutral game as good as these uh, these supers have, you kind of expect it to start hitting into its super a little bit. If you have too good of supers, the class would just be the best in the game, and you don't you don't want something that dominant. I'm trying to get close. That's a little bit of a charge with light pole we got there, which is huge. Oh, I'm dead for sure. Yeah, good push up on their part. A little too tunnel vision. Didn't see the guy coming from down below. Nade still manages to get a pick, though. That's nice. Um, game's pretty close. Probably need to focus more on keeping them off B. Um, they seem to be pushing B pretty hard. I feel like they could push inside and kind of win a little bit better, but with the weaponry they have, but they're choosing to stay outside, which I am more than okay with. Good push on his part. You have to have a little bit of game sense to be able to get the pre-charge going with fusions if you're playing against people who are good. Um, against people who don't know how to play against fusions, you can kind of just start charging it whenever. Um, but against people who are good, you need a little bit of game sense to make it work. That's going to hurt. Yeah. Gosh. Just a three stack, but you guys are playing really well together. Now, we're gonna try... Okay, they got a Ward of Dawn down. Doesn't make things very easy for us at all. Let's get out of here. I barely have an idea where I'm looking. Not much, but a little bit. Damn. Managed to get two of them. Uh, I'm gonna try and play outside a little bit longer. With the way their weapons are, they're pushing outside really hard, though. But we're going to try and get out there. If I can get a long lane held on them, this will be really nice. Um, their Terrabaugh can't really challenge past, like, that 20-meter range. Um, which, up until that point, absolute ripper. Um, but after that, loses quite a bit of its potency. I see long lanes right there. Another good pick right there. Um, if they're going to jump up, but they're not. They are going to continue to keep peeking. Try and peek that left side, I think they are anyways. Nope. All right. All right, we're going to try and pick up the special while we're here. Get a good angle. All right, Invis got him. He was Invis, so he had an also an advantage, but... Right. Um, they're on C now. Alright, try and get out of there before they all push in. Um, we're gonna get outside here, long lane again. Try and see if I can't get a good push from out here. Um, I can't quite tell where this guy is. There's gonna be one far outside here. A little nade on that corner. Good damage. Um, that's why I like spike nades. You can kind of get them placed. People don't expect the amount of damage they do. Which makes it really easy to get some easy damage on people. All right, we go ahead and win it. It's a good first game. Um, I got to show a little bit of how the fusion can start to charge up really well. And uh, yeah, on to the next one, I guess. After we look at the leaderboard, though. Oh, you got to look at the leaderboard. Brag yourself up a little bit. Uh, what did I have? 50 bomb. Not a bad game. 54 with a 6.0. Going to try and keep up a little bit of that momentum of the 54 kill game. It shouldn't go too bad. I had one game I loaded into and was super, super laggy. <clears throat> so I got out of that one. And we're going to try and get into another one and keep a little bit of that momentum going. We're on Radiant Cliffs. Really great map. Got nothing to complain about here. A couple of long lanes. Uh, you can play the fusion really well. Control. Good map overall. Um, really, really good to be able to smoke and take multiple different angles to find people. Great map for that. So we're spawning inside here. Means no victory. Gonna run straight Take out them. towards C. Um, see if I can't get a little bit of a peek going here. Um, probably try and play underneath. Get real uptight and close without them knowing it's, I'm here. Enemy zone C. Zone a captured. All 
we're gonna try and get out because they are gonna not be very happy that I'm still on their spawn. Get now I got charged with light. I can turn on whoever chooses to peek me here. Woo! Barely made it out of that one. That wave frame grenade launcher hits really hard, like 135 base damage. Really, really good to use if you can stay in the air long enough to make use of its good in air accuracy there. Alright, see, this is where the strength of DMT comes in. You can get down these lanes and keep it going, you know? You can keep that spree going. You have a lot of two tap potential. Ooh, he made it out of that. Missed. That's all right. Oh, get out. He's going to have an angle on me. I'm not full health, so I'm choosing not to take that fight. Because if you take a fight at not full health, odds are what's going to happen. Say it together. You're not going to make it out of the fight. All right, try and block that off for a second so he can't get the angle on me. Go invis here so he doesn't know I'm there. Oh, never mind. He's got a smoke on it. Get a little... Ah, got peeked from the side. That's okay. I still managed to get a couple kills there. And still managed to uh, come out with an even trade, at least. Okay. I'm going to try and play this inside angle here a little bit. Nice angle there. Mm. See, that's the strength of the fusion, though. I didn't know who to choose. Locked on to one. Super fast charge rate within that successful warm-up timer. Really, really good. Um, I'm going to keep trying to play this long A lane. I don't see a reason not to. Try and keep up a little bit of this angle here. Get a nade angle on that? Damn. Dang. Really wish that grenade would have stuck on the left side wall facing that way, but you don't always get what you want. Sometimes bungo wall hitboxes don't exactly hit the way they're supposed to. So we're going to keep trying to keep SP now. Alright, that's a good kill. Alright, need to reload a little quick here. That way I can get to my next engagement faster. Look at that. What you like to see. Nice successful warm-up kill. Alright, he's AFK. Not what you like to see. So is he. Sorry, boys. To line up faster. Zone C lost. Enemy Get, you take what the uh, good lord gives you. Push up, push up, push up. Shit. Alright, we're getting out of that. Throw those up there trying to turn from running at me a little bit. Back up. Gonna be coming right up here. Yeah, dodge through. Get that melee regenerating again. Ooh, but they had that angle from C. Definitely should have the tunnel visioned and probably should have had the fusion out. Um, but I figured I'd try and get a little build up of DMT before I peeked that long lane. Uh, didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to, but it's not too bad. Oh, I'm dead for sure. Yep, they had a really good, really good angle on that. Man's or pulse rifle is kind of beating me up. Dodge. Okay, he's gone to Yoso. What you like to see, teammate. Alrighty. Our teammate is going in, and I'm more than okay with letting him fry for me. Oh, definitely not something you want. I have no idea why I think that. I had charge with light. I was a little bit too confident. Didn't quite work out. Oh, okay. I'm gonna die right off the spawn. What you like to see. <clears throat> You're not having fun until Bungie spawns you getting looked at by an enemy. And confirm. You're just not having a good time until that happens. Woo! -hoo. All right. Well, I'm not going to challenge you again, buddy. You can have your fun down this lane if you want it. All right. Don't need to waste a fusion shot on that. He's going to die anyways. Strong star. Fight on. They <clears throat> come up to this top angle here. Teammates in a bit of a fight. Go ahead and finish that one off. Um, super glad they lowered the damage of sunspots, too. <clears throat> Those things used to, like, three-tick you. It was very infuriating to play against if you were against someone who's good at sunspots. Get out of that before he can get the kill off. 
That's a waste of heavy. Okay, what's the angle we're gonna be playing at here? Yeah. Yep. Good thing is you can still use your dodge, even though they kind of change the way the dodge animation works. You can still use it really well to get a couple of those uh, death avoidance plays off <laughs> that you wouldn't. Oh, okay, that was a good nade. Good nade. I guess. Damn it. Whoa, what? Where was was his spike nade the one on the ground there? Very well, could have been. I did not register that that was going to harm us at all, so. Definitely my mistake there. Looks like he's going to continue to keep running in here. Alright. Get a little invis off here. Diffusion loaded up. Oh, okay. Managed to make it out of that. <clears throat> Waiting for them to push up. When they push up here, I'll have an advantage because they're going to push into my fusion. If they choose to push up here, I guess is a better term. They did not choose to push up into that. I can't peek this angle too hard because they're going to have that long lane held. Which means I got to try and find a way to maneuver myself out of here. All right. A nice pick there to kind of get things rolling. Hopefully I can come down here. Use a couple of my shots to bust the shield. I had enough to spare. Get that charge time off. Dodge. Get a little reload speed. Invis doesn't know I'm coming. Doesn't really matter because he was already running at me. That's okay. Got a couple of kills that life. Managed to make it out of a situation I probably shouldn't have when I was collapsed there on B. But you just choose one at a time. Try and play around that. He's going to be coming out here. Alright, can't kill him. He's the fastest man alive. We're gonna just avoid him altogether. And refuse to accept that he uh, exists. Yeah. Then we're gonna go this way. Try and get a peek on B. Alright. Come back around this side. Take me to your leader. We're gonna go right here. First kill. See if I can't follow up with another guy pushing up here somewhere. God dang. <clears throat> very, very good play on his part. I figured he'd push up a little bit harder, but he, uh, he stayed back. Good distance for his pulse rifle to beat me up pretty good. Alright, this guy's gonna be close. Alright, throw that so he can't get to me. Grab this, dodge back. Alright, I got Chimes 2 charged with light just like that. Created that orb for my harmonic uh, siphon and allowed the charge with light quick charge to also give me the charge with light there, meaning I have the ability to two tap with DMT twice. Uh, but I actually used one earlier on that other fusion rifle kill, so I didn't have the ability to there. I was only able to once, which I used that final blow on. Oh, gonna get out of there. Quite a few of them spawning back there. Don't want to peek that have to um successful warm-ups gone so we have to play around that a little bit now can't get too aggressive with this jump up we're actually gonna throw a couple of quiver shots down here uh, see if i can't get that going see and there's the strength of dmt when you get that two tap potential spun up didn't quite two tap him but any low resilience i'm assuming he's a titan so he's running high resilience any low resilience guardian is going to get two tapped by that I don't quite know the cutoff, but I'm sure it's somewhere around that four to six range. Thirty seconds remain. Finish them. All right, we're gonna dodge through, and he got me. So that's all right. Not a bad game. Another one to showcase you guys what it's all about. Um, didn't do too bad. Nowhere near as good as you'd hope to do, but you know, could be worse. Um, had a forty bomb game, so. Not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is just a little build that I found when I was starting to play Crucible this season. Tried out a couple of others. This is the one I've had the most success with. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out.